So there's a new trend in the red light therapy space with a whole bunch of products that appear more convenient. So that could be wraps, that could be caps, it could even be the face masks that you now see. Now there's three things you need to consider before you buy one of these products. And in this video, we're gonna be diving into whether these products are better than the red light therapy panels that are traditionally used. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsia here and welcome to the Mitochondria YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about all the topics surrounding light, your circadian rhythms, and how you can optimize these things so that you can live your best life. Now in today's video and a very common question that I get is what about this cap or this specific wrap? And these products are very convenient to use and this is, let me start with the most positive thing about them, is you can set this up without having to give it much thought. So you could be watching TV and maybe wrap a red, uh, red light therapy wrap around your knee or if you were targeting for hair growth, you could put a cap on. It's very easy to use these products but there are some concerns that I have with the quality of the light that you'll be getting. So the very first concern is the fact that these products have to be made so simple. If you look at red light therapy panels, they're quite big and inside the housing, they're not just LED strips. So inside you will find LED drivers, which help to increase the light intensity. You also often find cooling systems like fans in order to keep the components cool. Now, the reason for this is that if you really want to deliver clinical high quality light, the light intensity has to be very high. Now, with the flexible products, they've removed all of these and all you're getting is essentially an LED strip, much like the LED strips you would see that light the inside of your house a fun color. It's very similar to this and there's a maximum amount of light intensity you can get when the product is designed this way. So the very first concern that I have with these products is are they actually going to deliver the right light quality in order to get the benefits that you see in the clinical studies. Now the second concern that I have comes back to the point of it being convenient. Yes, these products are easier to apply, but they're not as versatile when it comes to targeting other benefits with red light therapy. So for example, if you have a red light therapy mask, that's great for targeting your face, but if you now want to target some other kind of benefit, it's not going to be as easy to apply it. So to give you a quick example, you get the red light therapy caps that are used for targeting hair growth. And while these are extremely convenient to apply to your head, you could still use something like the My Light Move. I personally, this is the longest I've ever had my hair. I'm growing it out now. And when you grow your hair out, you have to be really conscious of how healthy you keep your hair because your hairline on the front here can get quite poor. You can get a lot of hair breakage. I now use a My Light Move, very simply switch this on and I can hold that directly to my head. I can even set it up with the stand over here and then place my head in front of it for one of these kind of sessions. And although it's not as convenient as using a cap, I can now use the same product for a variety of other uh, benefits. So if I wanted to target my shoulder, let's say I have some shoulder pain, I could then apply this directly to my shoulder and it gives me a much wider range of application than what I would get from a red light therapy cap. Another example, and this is something I work with a lot of people when they're using red light therapy, is neuropathy. You get these red light therapy boots that wrap around your feet. Again, extremely convenient to apply directly to your feet questionable in the light quality, but you could still do this with a high quality panel like the MyLight MIDI by just placing your feet in front of it or even resting the device on its side so that you can target all the way around your feet with this high quality light. So if you have been considering one of these flexible red light therapy products, then I would suggest that you first look at the high quality panels. I will leave a link in the description of this video and you can see everything from a portable one like the MyLight Move to the full body panels such as the MyLight Max. And although these might not be as convenient for some specific benefits, the versatility you're gonna get from them is much more worth it. And you're gonna know that you're getting high quality light that will actually get you results. If you enjoyed the content in today's video, please be sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to see more future videos like this. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. Other than that, I hope that you have a great day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.